SME sector faces um, skewed and inefficient allocation of finances, information asymmetries, systemic market risk, and concentration of SMEs in the informal sector poses an additional challenge. Credit to the private sector in Pakistan undoubtedly has grown from 7.9 trillion to almost 11.67 uh, trillion over a period of September 2020 to September 2023. However, it has declined as a percentage of the total bank assets from 33% to 27% over the same period. Financial system ends up servicing fiscal demands or large corporates, leaving a tremendous investment gap in the market for other priority, priority sectors such as SMEs and also agriculture sector. In wake of these challenges, financial institutions are hesitant to lend to SMEs, particularly because of the perceived high risks and unappealing venture dyn dynamics of it. Of course, both of them can be addressed effectively and NCGC is one approach to address this. Basically, banks are risk averse and prefer safing, safe lending and investment options and that is the primary reason why our m financial market dynamics are quite a bit distorted, to put it mildly. We have to acknowledge that private sector credit allocation to SMEs is only around 5.2%, which has declined from 7.7% in the last five years in Pakistan. In fact, when I was governor of the central bank, it was also around the same range. So it's been a long time that it has been quite sticky, these numbers. And it is significantly lower than the South Asia, which is an average, which has an average of over 17%. Undoubtedly, they do better on exports and do, they do better on... نگرہ حفاق وزیر خزانہ شمشاد اختر تقریب سے خطاب کریں تھی انہوں نے کہا کہ آئی ایم ایف کی تمام تر شرائط پر پورا اتر رہے ہیں آج کا دن انتہائی اہم ہے پاکستان کے لیے مزید خبروں کے لیے ڈان نیوز کے ساتھ رہی ہے خاتمے اور پولیو سے بچاؤ کے لیے ملک بھر میں سات روزہ پولیو مہم کا آخر